The clinch. An area of the game that's been caused for a lot of frustrations. I'll teach you how to deal with it. Welcome to Ross's Fight Academy. Let's go. Oh! I'm in the place of the fire. Blaze it till the morning. Blaze up the fire. Blaze it till the What's up guys, it's Ross Revan here, bringing you another video, but before we do, let's hit that like button, y'all been going crazy, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, let's get into this video of Ross's Fight Academy. Before I really get in depth of what we're doing here, I'm going to start at this fight selection screen, you see, I'm using the man Leon Edwards, you know, mental stability, he's looking like he's going to pick Tony Ferguson, maybe Colby Covington, Carlos Khan to go with Burns, but no, he's going to go with a calf. The wrestler dominator caps you that cheeky pick at double zero time, so I can't even make an adjustment. But starter tip, tip zero, not tip one, tip zero. Use a fighter with good stamina, man. The stamina drain in this in this game is crazy. So you want to make sure you have that stamina, man. Having that low stamina, it's just not going to work out in the long run. You see, we're getting into the fight here, man. I'm gonna take my time, keep my cool. You gotta keep a calm head when you're dealing with these cheese balls, man. But tip number one, make sure you're always camping that R2 once they get you in that clinch. More times than not, they're gonna try to sub you right off the bat. So beware of that standing guillotine cheese. So once you got that guillotine denial, you know, tip two, pick your shots. I know you can get frustrated playing these guys, you know, look at me eating those knees. No, you can get frustrated, but you can't stand in front of them. You got to keep your distance, pick your shots, be elusive. Tip number three, be ready to deny these takedowns, man. If it's not a clinch, they're going to ground and pound you, man. That's just the meta right now. The game's kind of broken. It is what it is. Don't be afraid to clinch them back, though. It's going to be a future tip. Don't be afraid of them, but take your time, pick your shots, mix up your strikes, man. You see, I'm going to work backing up when I need to, creating that distance. I like to think of myself as a matador when I'm in there against these guys, man. I gotta keep the feet moving, use some slick movement, circle away from the danger, and use your head movement too. But I'm just hitting them, keeping my distance, mixing up my strikes, and I get the rock. But tip four, head movement. Head movement's a big part in this game, man, to, de to deny the clinch. You see, I'm gonna slip to, I like slipping to either side, man, but laying in that uppercut, making them pay when they're when they're reaching for that clinch. The vulnerability in this game isn't nearly what it needs to be. So I, I understand your struggle, but look at that slick head movement. Bam! Slip uppercut over and over again. But, but don't be too predictable with it, because any good any good player will catch on to that tactic, man. But we're just keeping on them when we can, picking our shots, knocking them down. But tip number five, don't be afraid to cheese that man back, man. He's he's being a a butthole playing ruining this game for us do it back to him don't be afraid so we start round two quick start you know I'm still moving my head still trying to be slick BAM I get too predictable he catches me with a hook when I'm slipping my head so now I'm in recovery mode you know I'm calm you know you know I'm following tip number one deny them submissions you know tip number two he's probably gonna try to change this into a takedown but nah baby we off that cage a little hidden secret tip we'll call this tip tip six unofficial tip six hold l1 when you're backing out of that clinch it gets you out of there faster man i don't know if it's not in the game manual or nothing but hold hold that l1 you see i'm not even following my own tips here you got to stay off your back you know you know exactly what he's going to do he's going to try to get that ground and pound and what does he do postures up but we stay calm we cover up and we're actually able to reverse the position So once we're in this opportune situation, we're not gonna let him off the hook. No, 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 sir. We are gonna fight cheese with cheese, man. Tip number five. You gotta let them feel you back, man. If they wanna play this game like an asshole, we can be assholes too. But take a look at this beautiful sequence. See, we duck the clinch attempt, hit him with a straight, then clinch him. Fight cheese with cheese, man. Hit him with the unblockable uppercuts, the secret cheese clinch uppercuts. See, we're gonna duck the straight. Boop, get off me. Clinch him here. Come here, eat these two, and finish him with our some nice fluid boxing. Can't let him off the hook here either, you know. You know, he, he's thinking he's he's gonna escape it. But I got other plans, my brother. I got other plans. I got places to be. So you know we're gonna lay on the ground and pound. 
Cheese with cheese. Don't care. He started it first, man. We gotta protect ourselves, you know? Protect yourselves at all times. This is combat. But I appreciate you guys coming to the Rasta Fight Academy. This has been a full fight breakdown. A little bit different style for you. But I really hope those five tips can really, really help you guys get some wins, man. It's been your boy Rasta Reverend. Have a great day. I'm out.